So uh, the way to do that would be, uh, first of all, to set what we're going to be rendering it out to. So if you go to your properties panel, click on your camera tab, which is actually the render tab. Um, there's a render, there's two buttons up here. Don't press those yet. Um, but go down here to output. Right now it's set by default to the temp directory, which is okay, but not my preferred place right now. Um, somewhere in here there should be, up. Yep, there's a blender cast. So we're going to um, call this a uh, slacker render dot that's not render render dot um i guess it's going to be an mp4 we'll accept we'll accept that that's what that's what we're the output file is going to be that blender cast 2 which is in my home directory uh slacker render dot mp4 now you'll notice this box is saying that we're going out as png that's not uncommon, actually. Rendering out to an image sequence is actually quite often what you will end up doing. But for this, we're going to not want to do that. We're going to want to go out as some form of MPEG-4. I'm going to use XVID. It's a pretty good, um, nice, clear codec I have found. We don't need an alpha space, so I'm just going to say... Uh, an alpha channel, rather. I'm going to just say go for the RGB render right now. Um... And that's about it, I think. Um, actually, I lied. I think, do we need this? Format is XVID. Um, oh, and actually there are presets. I did not even notice that. Uh, output and encoding are things that you want to look at before doing this. And um, then, of course, you want to go up to, to render. And this is it. This is Blender rendering each frame. And we didn't give it anything easy. I mean, it's not that long, but we're going to have to wait a little while for it to render. So um, we'll come back after that happens. Okay, so as you can see, actually, as it was rendering before our very eyes, it, it really begs, I think, for a zoom somewhere, like a some kind of camera movement other than just a pullback. Um, but, uh, it, 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 it's looking pretty good. So let's, um, let's look at it maybe again. Nice star movement, nice shadow movement. It's not bad. It's like I say, it's not the fanciest thing in the world, but it, it is not bad. So it's very nice. We'll return to our, um, workspace with the escape key and Let's work on this animation just a little bit more before we call this episode quits. Here we are with the camera. We know that we've started at that at that point. Wow, I have no idea where that camera is. Okay, it's behind the, the text. I got it. So that's where we start. Let's just, for kicks, since we can, move camera to the right. Oops, forgot to set that. And then we will insert the location keyframe. So, now that's reset, as you can see, that X location, meaning that we're completely golden for the end, for the end frame. As you can see in the, in the camera view up, up here. Well, actually, we could even do the camera view right there. So, go back. So we set the 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 X position on the f the initial keyframe way the heck over to the right now. And so now, as we're zooming in or zooming pulling back rather, uh, we're moving to the left. Why are we moving to the left? Well, because we'd already established in that final keyframe that the camera is right there in in dead center. And that's kind of why I like to move or to to. To, to design these things backwards because then you can kind of, you can almost, you know, you, you, you know where you need to end up and it's kind of up to you and you get to kind of play around in terms of how you get there. So let's render that out again just, just to see it in real time. 
Um, again, using preset, xvid. All this stuff looks good. I better rename the file, though. I don't... I haven't tried um, the rendering without changing the name lately. I don't think it would clobber that, but, you know, it's kind of scary to think so. So I've renamed the file. I'm, I'm using my preset for xvid, uh, and I'm going to hit animate, and we watch it again. So let's, let's watch or not... Okay, that's that render. So let's uh, once again get a file manager up here, go into Blendercast, and where's my version 2? Here's my version 2. There, it's already playing. Uh, okay, so let's watch that again. Pull back and over. That gives us a little bit more movement. I think I, it feels a little bit better. It's it's still not perfect, but it's it's not bad. Of course, if if we wanted to, we could go into the lamp. Uh, and, and remove one of the shadow casters. Kind of sounds cool. Um, and then and then we can just have one thing casting one set of shadows. Sky's are the limit, obviously. Um, I think you get a, a pretty good idea, having gone through this, as to what is all possible with, with uh, just some simple text and an object or two and some lights and a virtual camera. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.